Hi. So a video I've been meaning to make for a while is something to talk about this. You may have seen it if you're active on the HomeLab Reddit page or Discord server, but and if, in case you haven't seen it, it's a rack-mounted plastic box that's got analog view meters on the front to display the receive, the transmit, and the ping of my internet service, just measured via my router. So, you know, as uh, things are uploaded and downloaded, or at least uh, as the router has throughput uploaded, download, these meters measure it, and this, of course, just measures the ping. So let's go over the outside, and then I'll talk about the, in the internals. So these meters I was able to pick up on Amazon for pretty cheap. The fronts come off with these two screws, and you're able to just remove the piece of paper that's in there and uh, basically print your own. I just scanned it into a computer, edited the image file to say what I wanted it to, and then print it out, cut it, put it back in there. It's great. So something you probably want to take note of if you're following along at home is the screws. The screws, uh, they strip very easily. They're very long, so you probably want a nice, thick Phillips screwdriver if the camera will focus on it if you're uh, going to be taking out and putting in these screws. These screws are on the top of the box. box uh, usually sits on there, but I've got the top off right now just to demonstrate. Let's go over the back first before we talk about the inside. We got right here uh, RJ45 uh, for internet. You could, in theory, use this via Wi-Fi because it uses a Raspberry Pi, but, you know, I opted to go the wired route. And then this is a standard three-prong PC power connector. It's This was also purchased off Amazon. This is a, just a three-prong power connector to, like, a standard wall outlet. This has got the power adapter for the Raspberry Pi. I didn't want to have another cord coming out of this. I wanted it to be easily transportable and make it very easy to connect and disconnect. So, the holes for these were all just drilled. wasn't too difficult there. Also, I'll make note of this, the box it's in is two units, and you can actually buy it um, one and three and up units from the eBay seller page. The reason I opted to use a two unit instead of a one is because, of course, these view meters are too tall. So let's take a look at the insides. So these three view meters are powered via these three things. I'm sorry the wiring isn't very good, but I can at least do my best to explain what's going on here. So these three things are uh, digital analog converters, or, yeah, DACs. So these use the protocol I2C to communicate with a Raspberry Pi. These things actually have hardwired I2C addresses, so I have to use a multiplexer. This is a TCA9548A eight-way I2C multiplexer and these are MCP4725 digital analog converters. Both these boards were purchased on Adafruit as well as the wire. So this hooks up to the Raspberry Pi and these three hook up to this and then these three things each have one of these. This communicates with this and these three things just drive these. It's not very complicated. I'll have the software that I did all this with uh, in the description or on the Reddit post. Here we've got the Cat5e internet uh, female to male connector. Pretty simple, like I said, power adapter here. Top goes right back on, it would slide on and screw in. Heat really won't be a problem with a, something like this because the Raspberry Pi is passively cooled pretty well and there's nice ventilation on the side. Anyway, like I said, I'll have links to all the parts I used for this in the description and on the Reddit post, so if you want to make your own, uh, you know, it shouldn't be too difficult. It wasn't that hard of a project. Feel free to message me if you have any questions about how I did any of this. Anyway, thanks for watching.